Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the energy class in the property page for the VP residence team. The energy values need to be added in the submission form and for all the fields for energy class to show you will need to select them first from team options. You will need to go to VP residence options, go to membership, go to property submission page and here under select the fields for listing submission you will have the list with all fields available for the submission form and you will need to select all these fields i will select them i will save the changes made next you will need to set the energy options from team options as well for that you will need to go to property page go to energy efficiency section here you will be able to add energy classes separated by comma here you will be able to add as many elements as you want i will add two more i will save the changes next you will be able to change the color for each energy class next you will have options for greenhouse gas emissions classes you will need to add it the same way separated by a comma below you'll find options to set a color for each class added once you set this you will need to save changes and next i will show how to manage the options from front end i will show how to manage these settings by editing an existing property so i will go to user dashboard my properties list i will edit this property and you will find the energy section here you will need to select the energy class and you will need to add the energy index value you will need to do the same for the greenhouse gas emission index also you will need to add a value and you will also have options for renewable energy performance index energy performance of the building epc current rating and epc potential rating i will add random values for these fields only to show how they will look in the property page i will save the changes that i made and now i will open the property page and below you will find this section called energy and you will have all the details that i just filled in in the submission form the same can be done from the admin submission form i will show that as well so i will go to admin i will go to properties here i will edit the property you will have the energy section here under energy class and the same elements will need to be filled in for the section to show properly on front end you will need to add both the energy index value and select the energy class this will apply for the greenhouse gas emission as well i will go back to the property page if you want to change the energy label this can be done from team options you will need to go to vp residence options go to listing labels and here you will need to add the property energy savings label i will add a new word save changes and after refresh you will see the change that i just made these are the settings that you need to make for the energy savings next i will show an example on how to add the energy class in a custom property template i have a property template that already has a custom property template assigned and that template does not include the energy elements to be able to add the elements you will need to edit the custom property template i will do that when you hover over edit with elementor you will see here the custom template that is assigned to the page i will select it to edit i will add the energy class under the slider so i will add a new section i will add a heading to add the section title i will change the text also i change the color of the record to fit the other sections and below I will add the element for the energy class. I will use the single detail widget to add the energy class in the page. I will look for the widget. This is the one. I will add it in the page with drag and drop and select the energy class. You will see that the details will show in the template as well. And I will save the changes made. You will also have another widget available to create the same section. You will also be able to use the detail section widget. 
I will show how to work with this one, so I will delete the property single detail and add the detail section. I will add it with drag and drop as well. And here you will need to select energy certificate and you will have the energy details in the property page. I will save the changes made and now I will check the property on front end. And now you will have the energy section for the custom property template as well. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.